And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. We are out for this best of three Black Ops action. And I do have all the scoreboard. Everything's up. Everything's running. And everything is going well. Taking out with Natura first up. Heavy nades over towards uh, Main Road. Main Road there. And it looks like they might be interested in going B. Looking at this, Brad does come up through mid. Does take out Natura. Shades goes down to Divi. So Impervious actually with the head start here. Politics. We've got to keep a good eye on politics tonight. I do love watching Polly play, especially when he gets all fired up. He does pull out the big stuff. Two on two now. Two on two. So exchanging blows. Bear is getting shot up here. Someone is in bottom hotel. But that's all right. They do have that pretty much well covered. Can't get out the back. Can't get around. He's just on the other side of the wall. We can hear him reloading his gun. What's Bear going to do? Checking that back door, making sure they're not going to get through in the front. So both players have come around now on the stairs. Fantastic vision there by Bear. Does take out politics. Last one up. Let's try and find out where he is. X Trammer. Where did he go? X Trammer and Bear. X Trammer coming around from the front or the side of the hotel. And he gets taken out by Bear. So. First round, over to Impervious. Good start. They need a few more of them. And like I said, I reckon uh, Envision. Envision are the team to beat, and they're uh, off to a good start already. Let's take it up with Brad this time on uh, defense. Brad playing for Impervious Esports, heading over toward this A bomb site. Woody's left the game. Don't need a ref it anymore. He, he's going to jump in here, and he's going to watch it, I think, and listen to my uh, sexy voice. Divi does get a nice nade. There, oh, unlucky there from Brad, comes around the corner, walks into Natura. If it wasn't Natura, there was still a player, Shads, I think it was, just around the corner. Shads does get out of that. Um, Natura does get taken down. Stuka onto Divi. Bomb is going down now. Shads on this A bomb site, getting that down. His teammates are moving in, and there's only one to beat. Let's try and find this last player up, which is Jizz. Good old Jizz. Top hotel coming down. These stairs heading over towards A. He does have a bit of a tough task. Those last few players up are good. Yeah, huge shout out to uh, Mort. I haven't seen uh, Mort for a while. So if he's uh, still playing, is he? Is he still playing Black Ops? I would. Uh, he's in AK, I think. Not too sure if AK are in the finals. That one there going off to Envision. So if Mort's out there, a big shout out to uh, you and uh, all the best with... Um, AK, of course. Shads. Big Shads here. Big Shads moving uh, moving in. Shads with the scope, actually. We don't see Shads too often with the scope. Looking back towards the front door of the hotel. Can't see anything at all happening there. And he does have support just on his flank. In case anyone wants to come around that back alley. Shads, a few shots out there. Seen him trying to see if he can uh, get a little bit lucky. Unfortunately not. On the flip side of the corner, we do have Dub. Also on scope for Impervious Divi does um, take down X Trammer. Stuka does get one. Politics gets one as well. 3v4, very close. Very close, and it is 1v1. Natura takes out Jizz. We do have the bomb carrier here. Politics does spot someone up. Not good enough. Well, he does. He takes him out, and then they go Envision. Looking a little bit sharper. They're actually uh, they're getting in and really holding off their spot and taking their time... Um, Pushing in and moving into a bomb site, a few early kills, but then it's really slow pace, taking their time, really trying to work as a team. But this is to go in and play for the grand final. Like I said there's about um, not a hundred percent sure, but there is somewhere between sixteen and eighteen hundred dollars for uh, all three divisions here: CG, um, AM, and I for the uh, grand final second place. Natura does spot someone's uh, weapon. Oh, he's missed him. He's over to his left. That is a teammate. That's why he missed him. I thought it may have been the enemy there, but there is only one up. Well, there's only one up. Strong round there from Envision. Not losing a single player. Incoming Bond. Who's uh, Who's got lots of deaths, no kills? We do have Jeers and Dub both on 0-4 each. So those two boys need to lift a little bit for their team at the moment. Pushing here into the A bomb site. We do have Jizz. Brad giving him a little bit of support. Shads, Politics, Stuka all pulling up a frag each. Only two down. Brad does pick up a token kill there. Shads finishes um, Natura. So a bit of friendly fire there. Unfortunately jumps around. Brad not good enough. Shads with his Python does get that uh, kill down. One player up. Oh, in a bit of a juice spot. Jizzamo just, um, just in this top A area. 
I spot someone over on balcony, main hotel. Bomb is down on B, so he's still got to take out two players. He does have a chance here. Shots have come out, so he just needs to be mindful that that could be a bait. Keep checking his corners, make sure it's all safe. Shots do come out to the uh, left-hand side of him. Can he get this defused? They're going to think it's a bait. He might actually get this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, someone does come down the stairs, but very, very close. He did get three quarters of the way, three quarters of the way through that. And let me check that scoreboard. It is 4-1, so though some of these rounds seem to have slowed down a little bit, Though uh, these rounds do seem to slow down a bit, we've already five rounds into this. And Vision, too strong at the moment, but it hasn't seemed completely one-sided. Politics takes out Divi, so Politics on the bear as well. Where is Politics? Let's try and find a bit of Politics. And a third one, plus ten. He's out of control. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He does get the triple feed. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, why I do... Uh, Love watching politics play. Let's try and catch him this round because he's just warming up here. He is warming up. Don't think that's all he's got to offer. Not politics. There he goes. Sprinting away with his python, getting that extra speed. Does have his SMG there. Dub does get down Nutura with a nice nade. There we go. Can he get that one? No, he can't. No, he can't. Very quick onto that, though. And we're going to stick with politics here. We know something's exciting is going to come from him. Checking the back hotel. Nothing there. Shaz does take out Gizmo. With a nice scope shot. That's hit the roof, so that didn't come back down as he wanted it. There we go. Sees him now. Takes him down. One more. Oh, he does. He gets him with a nice headshot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a lucky shot there. Plus 10. So that's five frags in the last two rounds. Can he get another one? There he goes. He spotted him up, heading back towards Fountain. He's going to circle around, come into A, and he's going to try and cut him off on the other side. Not coming through. Doesn't look like he's coming through that uh, main building. Let's try and pick him up. I'm just scared that if we try and pick him up, Jiz will take him down before we get a chance. Here he is. He is on that top balcony. Does he jump, jump, jump down? And that was politics there. So politics, 13-2. Unbelievable. What a great start from him. He's really going to carry his team um, over these two matches, I think. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. That, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I'm a fan of politics. So uh, let's hope we can see a lot more of him um, tonight. Pulling out those big moves. 4v4, 3v4. So they've actually got a uh, advantage here. There we go. Bear picks up another one and another one down. So we do have Natura. And where's his teammate? Natura picks one up there. Just Gizmo coming up through Fountain. Cafe looks clear. A bomb site's clear. Right at the back. In the back alley there, we've got Bear heading towards this B bomb site. Where is that bomb, though? Where is that bomb? Shads. Oh, not quick enough. His Python couldn't outdo the AK-47. Oh, Brad. Last player up here is Natura. He's got a bit of a task on his hand. This round, you would think, would be going to impervious. Just taking his time. Let's have a quick scout out, see where these other players are. Bear, he's heading towards Main Hotel now. Dub spots him up and uh, takes him out. So well, um, he gets taken out. So 6-2, to 6-2 two. to two impervious. Definitely need a round or two, may I say. Maybe things will be different when they switch at halftime and head over to... Uh, attack themselves. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. Natura takes out Jizz. Not using A's, not using Bullet. He says, take that. Blows up the car. That's how we do it here in Envision. We don't care what we use. We just want it. Politics pulls up, Brad. Running around with his SMG. Like a crazy man, getting good results. That must be 14-3, I think, for him. Shads goes down to dub. 4v3 situation here. Natura with the bomb. A little bit sceptical, heading out towards A a little bit. There is, they do have a player over on B bomb site now, a little bit separated. x trammer does take out Dub, not before Dub did take out Politics with a nice headshot bear on x trammer 2v2 now, ladies and gentlemen. Shots are coming out from B, so they're going to try and get this bomb down. Before he gets that, he does spot someone just behind that uh, side street wall. So bomb is down, 2v1. Last player up here is Bear. Bear's coming up through Fountain, up through Cafe. Up through the behind. That probably wasn't a good nade. I don't think it did get through. He does spot someone up. He is heavily tanked himself. 
There we go. Oh, my goodness. What a mistake there by Nachuri. Should have known he was just over to the left-hand side. So not really paying attention. 1v1. And he just has to defend this up. Stooker. Nice and quiet just outside the bus. Oh, look at that. Comes up from behind. I switched that at the right time. Bear should get that defuse. Should be plenty of time. There is eight seconds. And that one there, that's two in a, round, two in a row now for Impervious. And Vision just uh, a little bit sloppy these last two rounds. A little bit. Not too much. Still 6-3, six, uh, six, commanding lead. Haven't seen x -Trabber yet. Let's see what x do. doing. This time he's got the bomb. So they're swapping that bomb. They don't seem to have anyone designated for that bomb. Just swapping that... Uh, Swapping that roll around. And look at that, uh, what's with the Black Ops and the skins? That one there, the Tiger, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong there, ladies and gentlemen, though I reckon that one's Tiger. I reckon I used that one a few times. B-Bomb looks pretty clear. Stooker's got it all covered. Just uh, a few shots out, trying to bait out any defenders, which are there, and it comes from behind from Bear. Brad heavily tagged up. Oh, he's got to watch that friendly fire, though. Shots are coming out. There we go. He finally picks up Natura with a nice headshot. Last one up here is Shads. And unfortunately, that bomb didn't go down there a little bit short. But Shads does have the scope. Does he have something else? Oh, that's a bad miss. Bad miss, Shads. Come on. You can do it. No, he's given up. Shads given up. Too hard. Now, tell me if I'm wrong as well, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not too sure. I'm not, I'm not, um, the times I've played with Shads, I haven't seen him as a scope player. Does he play scope? Because he hasn't been doing a great job so far. There we go. He does get taken out. So that's a few in a row now for Impervious. Closing that gap, 6-4. Went from 6-1 uh, to 6-4. So really uh, really um, catching up, putting the pressure back onto uh, Team and Vision here. Let's find someone from Envision, not Shads, with his uh, bad scope. Well, let's see what Jizz is going to do. Jizz has dropped the scope, which is good. And uh, since he dropped scope, they are winning... A few rounds now. B looks uh, clear. Not much going on. Oh, he spots someone up now. Easy picking. Easy, easy picking from uh, Jizz on the politics. Politics needs to uh, put a few rounds in. What's politics now? 15-6. So, <coughs> excuse me. The rounds where politics is dying, they're not doing as well as they could. Brad on the shads. Not before Stuka takes out Bear. 3v3 situation. Bomb is down, though. Over near that uh, B bomb site just at the back there. Dub. Does take down the Tura, and they uh, keep exchanging blows this round. One to one. One for one, should I say. So 2v2 remaining. Bomb is coming around now into B. It all looks pretty clear. Oh, accidentally uh, shot off his weapon a little bit too soon there, Stooker, and does uh, get taken out by a dub. Last one up is also taken out. So 5 to 6 impervious. Wow. Six rounds one way, six rounds the other way. They did, um, which one, which one, uh, Woody is Goku, is that, uh, is that Brad? Is Brad Goku? But I think last season they played this a bit at, uh, finals time too. Ooh, bad luck there from Brad, gets taken out by x -Trammer. Even though it looked like he had the drop on x -Trammer. politics, nice headshot onto Divi, 4-1. 4-1, so this one they've come back pretty strong. Last one up here is Jizz all the way at this back of the bus. He does see someone moving into A, so he knows he's got about two people. One planting the bomb and one just out from the, from the bomb. He does take down politics. Bomb has gone down, though. Oh, that's a good shot. Didn't manage to pick up the frag there over in front of Hotel. Bit unlucky. And they're just waiting, coming, trying to bait him out, trying to uh, oh, excuse me, get the advantage. He's still got three to go down, though. And get that uh, bomb. And they definitely, there we go, picks up Natura. Good persistence. Natura doesn't really care. He's uh, chewing up the clock. That's all that's needed there. On the stairwell, finishes him off. Who was that? I think that may have been uh, Stuka. Stuka there. Finished him off. It's uh have a look at Bear. Let's see what Bear's doing. A few uh, few comments in there for Bear in the uh, Twitch chat. Mofo, how are you this evening? It's good. Uh, it's good you come along. Are you checking this out? To uh, well, you don't play for uh, you don't play Black Ops, do you, Mofo? 
I didn't think, but that is all good. 4v4, Bear. Oh, unlucky. He does get taken down by Stuka. It would have been nice to see the knife come out there. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't need the knife. Brad takes down Natura. Stuka goes down. X Tremor goes down. Last one up here is Shads once again, and they are just rushing into him. Get him. That will be uh, one of the easiest diffusers. As easy as you like. As easy as you like. But six, seven. So 13 rounds down. We've got two more before half time, and not much separating these teams now. Even though Envision really did come out, they really pushed in those uh, first seven, eight rounds and took a commanding lead. Impervious, they pretty much shut that down. It's all uh, even playing terms. Shads, not last one up now. Checking B bomb site. Oh, bit of friendly fire. Giveaway's position there, so not too good. And uh, Shads must still be with that scope. I'd like to see him change. He should probably change. But however, he does get that nice shot as soon as I say something. Of course, the caster's curse, he'll prove me wrong. Not much happening on the other side there. Bomb is go. Oh, is it going down? Bomb. Oh, that was lucky. He only just got that down, X-Trammer. Only just before getting taken out by Jizz. They've got two up. And they need to get three. Well, it's all up to Jizz now. And Jizz not having the best start. Jizz, if we can look quickly, is on 8 and 12. So he, he really needs to get about 1-1 one, one to win this, getting these three kills and also defusing that bomb. Oh, look at that. What a gift. What a gift. Not what Natura is doing. Must be having a toilet break. Comes up. Someone walks out of hotel room and takes him down. And Vision. Two-round buffer. Two rounds. Not much in it at all. And that's after 14. One more. One more before half time. And uh, what do you guys think? Do you still uh, you still going for Envision on this map? And let me know this as well. Is this map fairly balanced? I know last night we seen with Archon, it was um, it was 16, 13 or something. So very very close as well. There wasn't really advantage for attack or defense. So two up, two up now for uh, the boys and Brad. Messed up that bomb. Envision do get that. So going into half time, um, Envision do go in there nine and six. If I can push all the right buttons, and I forgot to turn that down. I had to turn that down last night. I forgot to. And which one is it? Number seven. There we go. Back on. So I'm pervious six, nine. I'm readied up. I'm happy. So what do you guys think of that first half? Not too bad. This second half is going to be really interesting to see if. Um, well, it's either Impervious can attack better or Envision can defend better and that's going to be the winner of um, Map 1. And it is a best of three here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, it is best of three. Winner goes through to the grand final. Yeah, you're right there, Little Murph. Politics was dominating. He was 13-2, uh, I think, at one stage, 13-2. And then he started dying and... Uh, and Vision started losing a lot of rounds. Now he's, uh, let's have a quick look here. 19 9. Politics. Stuka 15 12. Natura 11 10. Shads 13 9. X Trammer 6 3. And 4 Impervious. Bear 12 11. Dub 12 13. Brad 10 12. Jizz 9 14. And Div. So the real, the two players at the moment, I guess, from it being a solid all round team effort, is. Um, Jizz and Div. Um, Divi. Those two need to lift a little bit. And there's only three rounds in it. And I think if those two are playing a little bit better, um, if, uh, Impervious may actually be ahead here. So just those two players dragging their bums. And on the other side, you've got the two carriers for um, Impervious. It's fairly even. Bad time to reload quick enough to pull out his pistol though and does take down Stugger there for Brad. So Bomb will go down. Only two up here for Envision. And first round there, straight off to Impervious. Seven and nine. Very, very close. They did that really well. They went over, completely covered that A bomb site, made sure no one was getting in or out. Someone who would uh, obviously be happy with that is uh, Traddy, for anyone who knows. He's a big fan of secure that bomb site, then get the bomb down. That's exactly what they did. Natura takes down Bear. 
So a big frag there to uh, open up the account this round. Divi, headshot, D-bub, or bub, dub, may I say. Getting a bit tongue-tied. tongue, tongue -tied. Politics does get one there. And 2v2 now, ladies and gentlemen. 2v2, and bomb is down. No one's got the bomb. It's all the way over. Over near Fountain, from the looks of it. So they need to backtrack just a little bit. Shads with scope. Bomb is picked up now. Jesus has got that bomb. And uh, he might be heading around. I think he'd be heading around to B. That's where his uh, teammate Brad is. Over the cross, not getting scoped by Shad, so not too sure where Shad's is looking. And uh, little Murph still going with Envision. Maybe he'll change his mind around now. It depends who wins this round. It is close. Poking top balcony, probably not, probably not the smartest move. No point getting your head out there to get shot. But there doesn't seem to be too much out there at all. Oh, he does spot someone. Is that someone over the fence? No, it's not. It's the uh, archway there. I've just seen a little bit of movement. Thought it may have been someone's head, but it's all clear. But he needs to go down and get that bomb. He must be running out of time. Let's have a quick look at this time. Can't see the time. It's disappeared on me, but bomb is going down. Checking all corners. There we go. One pops out. Beautiful bar backing up there from Brad. One more to beat, and they managed to pull that one. So that's two in a row. First two rounds on attack here. Go straight to Impervious. Eight and nine. Very close. So there we go. Woody sewing 16-12 to Envision. Envision need a lift then. Envision need to start creating that gap at the moment. Then Woody, it's only one round. Only one round. Shads, look at that. Plus 10 does take out Brad and Divi with a nice headshot on a Divi. There is young Shads. Here he is over near this... Um, Close to this A bomb site. Not much happening there. Jizz does take down politics. Bear onto Natura with a headshot. Last one up here. Well, they've still got two, but Bear is mighty low. If we can go around and find Bear. Where is Bear? His Bear. He's very, very low. All the way back in their spawn. All the way back in their spawn. And he's trying to do this big flank. See if he can't pick up another one. Shot's gone out there. The flank has paid off for him, and he does take him out. The 1v1, Shads gets a headshot on Jizz. Bear, with that flank, does pick up Shad. So a little bit late he was to offering his teammate some support. And Stuka is all the way over. Is he all the way at the back? No, he's not. Flash does come in. Oh, and he picks him up. No, he doesn't. Bear picks him up. So well done to... Uh, Bear in that case and impervious that levels everything up. We've got a level playing field. Back to uh back to pre-game scores, pretty much. No advantage there, 9v9. Nine V nine and the Invisible Boy's not happy with Bear, but Bear just a little bit quicker to react, of course. And that will often win you one. Oh, here we go. Brad does have someone over to the right of him. Is someone on those stairs? Which way is he gonna go? Well done. Very well played there by Brad. Came back around and took out their second player, which he did see early up. They've got this whole A-bomb site. Everyone's all over that, like a uh, bad rash. Stuka, oh, plus 10 from Stuka. Pulling that back for his uh, teammates. Brad does take down Stuka, so Danger Man gone. One player up, which is Shads, with the scope. And he might be in a good position here. Um, not on this side. He wants to get down the other side of the road. There is a dead body there. Hopefully he can pick up a different weapon. Or has he got one? He just walked past that AK, not worrying about picking that up at all. Bomb is down on a bomb site. He's got three to beat. Sticking with his scope. Hasn't switched over to his python yet. Oh, there we go. As easy as you like. And uh, not quite not quite the same with his, um, with his python as he was with his scope. But a great shot there. I'm not a fan of scopes. Don't like them. One shot, you're dead. And uh, worked out there momentarily for uh, Shads. Natura. What's big Natura doing? Not paying attention. Bear come around. Smack. Takes him down with a huge headshot. Dub on an X-Trammer. 5v3. Shads gets one back. Two up now for uh, one up. One up for Envision. And that is Shads once again. And, well... 
if Impervious weren't warmed up before, ladies and gentlemen, they certainly are pushing past. They have taken the lead by uh, two rounds now, 11 to 9. So interesting stuff, Woody. You're 16 12. It could still happen. It certainly can. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Impervious really seem warmed up at the moment and just getting a big flow going, doing everything right. Shaz does take down Bear. So Danger Man gone, pulling off a few lucky shots. Politics on the dub. So that's two down already for Impervious this round. Can uh, and we get another one here? Brad is... Oh, Brad does take down Shads with that lovely wall bang. Jizz on the politics. Trammer on the Brad. 3v2. So they're pulling it back a little bit here. But uh, they still have that advantage. Now they've got a clear advantage. Only one player up, which is Divi. Is getting flanked. Trying to get out there. Create himself a little bit of space. Oh, comes through. And unfortunately, goes down. So, Envision, uh, I think we can say much needed that round. Definitely needed that round. Getting outplayed by Impervious um, a lot in those last few rounds. That's 10-11 uh, now on the uh, Team Down TV Black Ops scoreboard. And just quickly, while we're waiting for this uh, round to uh, take place here, if you're not following us, ooh, friendly fire, watch out. If you're not following us, Please follow us. Just under just under the stream, click that follow button. It makes us feel good. We're just about up 600 followers. Brad did get that nice plus 10 there. That was very nice to watch. One player up here, which is Natura, and he's going to have a hard time. Does get spotted up. Oh, great vision. Not too sure where those shots were coming from, but that's another one there, too impervious. 12-10. Um, 12-10. And Penske's here. Good evening, Penske. How are you? You missed out before we had uh, Miss Evil in here. Miss Evil in here. She forgot to bring the second half of her date. But at least you're in here now. Even if it's separate, you both made it in, which is great to see. 4-2. Four, 3-2. Two. Four, th well, and Vision. There we go. Great shot there by Natura. Gets the plus 10 on a Divi, on a Bear. Shads also puts up a frag. 1v1. This is exciting stuff now, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Natura and we have got Brad. So, very close, very close, what can happen this round. Obviously, Envision really need this round. Bomb isn't down. So, Natura, possibly with the advantage here. Definitely with the advantage. Bomb is picked up now, heading back towards... He's going to come around. Oh, he does get spotted up. I flicked away at the wrong time, but Natura does pick him up, and that's a much-needed round there for Envision. Just that one round behind now, 12 to 11. 12 to 11. Exciting stuff. This this is only map one, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got at least one more map to go. But uh, I don't think um, Envision are going to have to be stronger on those next two maps. They did look great initially in this game. Just uh, fallen off a little bit. But we can't discount them yet. Brad comes around, takes out Stooker. He gets taken down by Natura. 4v4 situation here. Scores. 12 to 11. Doesn't not get much closer unless they were both drawing out the same one. Like they were after halftime. D-Dub picking up a few there. On Natura and Shaz just pulling up politics. We haven't seen much of politics. What's politics now? 23-18. Come on, Polly. You need to do something for your team. This is the time you need to lift. Let's watch him and see if he can lift here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can uh, we'll pick on him and say, you're not doing well, son. You're letting your whole team down. Let's see if the caster curse pulls him back into action here. Oh, he does get heavily tagged with that nade. A little bit of shell shock. Spot someone up on the stairs. There we go. There's one. There's one on the D-dub, or, or, or dub, should I say. Did so much damage last round. There is a few more players around. There we go. There's two. There's two, ladies and gentlemen, watching politics and giving him a hard time, saying uh, saying he's a little bit shit, may I say. That casting curse has helped him out, pulling up two frags this game, this uh, this round. Big day. So there is someone over in spawn. They're pretty sure of that last one up. Let's try and flick to him. And he was. He was getting some tags on in that one. Straight over to uh, Envision. 12 or 13-12. 13, 12. Let's head over and watch uh, watch politics one more time. One more time here. See if he can't do something big. Watch those nays. Those nays will be coming in. Checking out these stairs. See if he can't reproduce that again. It all looks pretty clear over on Fountain at the moment. What happens as soon as he turns the corner? All clear. So they could be pushing into B. Over goes the nade. Oh, he spots up one. He can he cut him off. He does cut him off. And he gets taken out himself. By Divi, so it didn't quite work out that way. He did have a great push all the way around. Stuka does spot someone crossing the main road. 
does not pick up the frag. Shad does take out Dub. 3v2, very close. Envision, slight advantage here by one the player. One player. Oh, there we go. Natura takes out Bear. Not before Bear takes out Shad's 2v1. Last one up here is Divi. That's spot up one. Oh, my goodness. He just missed out on that kill. So, still, still a bit of a task ahead of him here. He does have to take down two players. Can he plant that bomb? No, he can't. No, he can't. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Scores are tied. 13 apiece. 16 a win. So, not much room to move here. Someone has to win uh, three, three rounds. This is going to be a tight one. Could we see some overtime? Let me know now. Let me know now, ladies and gentlemen, in that chat, if you think you can get, if we're going to get some overtime. Bear, absolute massive nays. Take out Natura and Stuker. Huge nade. Big plus 10. 3v2. A few players dropped already. Brad thinks he hears someone just uh, over at A having a bit of a poke, bit of a look. He can't see anything at the moment. Is he going to move in? No, he's not. He's going to head back. Shads with scope. Oh, nearly gets a kill. Divi pretty quick there with his sub. And there we go. Jizz and his boys at Impervious do pull back that round. But it's 14-13. So close. Oh, you want to see us go match Penske? Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Don't you find it awkward without the ADS? Shad's a plus 10 again. There's a few times we've seen that, taking down Bear and Brad. The ADS doesn't screw with your head. It does me. But uh, that's me. So I don't know what that means. Five versus two. So it looks like they might, might even up these scores once again here. Natura really fighting hard. There's someone just up this alleyway. Politics. Nice headshot on the Jizz. 4v1. Four, last one up is Dub. He has done some good work over the last few rounds, but I think asking him to take down four players is going to be a huge ask here. I don't think he's going to do it, and I'm pretty sure that means scores are going to be even once again. So we need someone to come out and win two rounds without letting the opposition in. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at overtime. Dub's not going to win this round, especially time. He can't have much time. He is heavily tagged. Full back to full health now. They do know where he is. He's spotted up. He is not going to get out of there. The other position player is just going to lay down that fire. Oh, he gets under. There's one. There's one. Lucky to get out. There's two. There's two. Two more to go. Yeah, switch. Oh, he comes around and gets taken out. So that, ladies and gentlemen, that's evened it up once again. That has evened up. 14 apiece. So what we're looking at here, mathematically, if both teams are on 15, that pushes it into overtime. Three, then three, then three rounds. And we'll keep swapping it like that, I believe. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. So we need one of these teams here to go back to back and take out this first map. But this is great stuff. This is a, a fantastic match. Does not get it much closer than this at all. And we haven't seen overtime here for Black Ops. Uh, last time we seen it would have been early stages of the finals last season. And we did see a lot of overtime. So what's going to happen here? Brad has managed to uh, flank all the way around. Oh, Natura just not paying attention there. And neither was Brad getting taken out by Shads with the scope. That was a bit of a lucky shot, I feel. 2v3. What are we looking at now? 3v1. Last player up here is Stuka. So this will give Impervious the opportunity to win the next round. And gets an easy gift there. Bomb is going down. He's getting shot up. Can he get the plus 10? No, not quite. Ran out of, ran out of bullets just at the wrong time. And Dub... Only just scraping head. So Impervious need this one. They must need this. They need this one. Otherwise, it gets pushed straight to overtime. Map one, overtime, out of a best of three. We could be up for a long night of uh, gaming ahead of us. But looking at this game so far, it may be a long night of gaming, but it's going to be a very exciting night of gaming. Dub takes down Trammer. His scope shot's going out there. So Shaz must be sitting uh, in spawn. Bear does take out Natura. Polly and Stuka pill up Achilles. 3v3. Shots going out everywhere. Shads gets the plus 10 on the scope. Switches to his Python and pulls up Brad. Politics takes down Bear. 3-0. And they will get that defuse there. Which means... Overtime. I had to think for a second. I had to think for a second. So map one, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Straight into... Uh, a little bit of overtime. Let me ready up. Let me ready up here. And they should be... I'm pretty sure they switch sides here. So I just need a, a second 
to see who I'm following. Which is Shads on attack. So they do switch. There's my button for the switch. Ooh. So. 15-15. But over the last 10 rounds. I can't, uh, I can't make a prediction. I can't make a prediction at all. Maybe. Uh, yeah. It's a tough one. Tough one at all. I don't know who I'd pick in this one, but we do have Impervious. Let's switch over to Natura Bear Shads with that scope. Looking at that main road. Checking out. Oh, misses out on that shot. Someone is coming around. There is someone sticking out there. There is. And he takes him down. He does take down Brad. So he's persistent with that. And that was a great shot in the end. Dub. Watching Fountain. Not much happening there. Are they pushing A? Maybe. Politics does pick up Bear. Jizz does take down Politics. 3v4. Oh, lucky shot there. Stooker does go down from a nice headshot. Jumps around the corner. Someone at the back of the uh, someone at the back of the trunk. Not paying attention. And Dub also picks him up. Last one up here for Envision is Natura. Just chilling out here. Back a hotel. In with the dumpsters. Jumps down. Oh, gets tagged up. Unfortunately, jumping down did hurt him a little bit. So first round over to the defending team. Impervia 16. And uh, for you guys... Sitting at home watching, what we need here is this where it gets a little bit confusing. It's all right. It's 16, 15. So they need um, 19, 19 to win in this uh, first overtime. Now, Bears left. What's going on here? Bears actually left the game. So this has put... Uh, and he left at the wrong time because they can't call a dead round. Or have they called a dead round? They have definitely haven't called a dead round. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this could be a deal breaker right here. Bear has left. Not too sure why. They did it a little late for him to call the dead round. Brad takes that down x trammer And it's all really slowed down now. It's really slowed down. One up, which is politics. Does spot someone outside the window. He pulls out his python. Can't get the frag. They know where you are, but Impervious will win this round as well. Politics does take out one. If anyone can do this, Politics can. All right, apparently, apparently that round was a dead round. A little bit of confusion. That's why it was all start and stop. So uh, scores 15, 16. Just want to double check these scores. Should be 15, 16, I would think. 15, 16, because the scoreboard says 15, 17. They called a dead round, so maybe Woody. Woody, where's my mate Woody? Could be a bit of controversy here, buddy, with the scores. The scoreboard now saying 15, 17, but they just played that round, which they said was a dead round, so that's why the 17s appeared there, but they did win the first one of overtime which is 15 16 so let's all be confused together let's all be confused together let's make the assumption that that last round was a dead round and that this one is also a dead round which will put us on 15 16 not the in-game score not the in-game score so a dead round here anyway and they still haven't had their Still haven't had their other player come in. So poor old Impervious are going to be uh, one short. One short.
15, 16, they have agreed. Shads has said, let's go, let's go. 15, 16, one short though. So this is going to play big things for Impervious. It's going to make a big difference. What's going to happen? And is he going to be back before the next map? Brad does get first blood there. So it's a four on four. Politics does take out Brad though. So they're only one player down at the moment. Do pulling off that 3v3. Close one here, 3v3. Politics pulls up another frag. Dix does, uh, Div, sorry, does pull up x trammer 2v2. Wow, can't separate these two teams at the moment. Will we see double over time? Will we see uh, double over time? This is going to be the big thing. Last one up here is Dub. He does have Politics to beat, who's just at the bottom of Politics. He isn't checking that stairwell, though, and that's probably where he should be checking behind him. Natura just outside there as well. Here we go, Dub is right on top of these two players. I don't think they know that. There we go. They're moving up slowly into these stairs. No, they're not. Dub jumps down, takes down politics. And Natura is keeping an eye on this front entrance. Though he's not coming up this front entrance. Oh, is he going to go up those stairs? Those stairs would probably be the best spot to go up to catch him off guard. Let's have a look. Cat and Mouse here. They're both at the same end, right next to each other. Now they're on opposite sides, so... Little game of chasey here. Now they're coming up towards each other. Natura should keep walking. Coming through these doors. And Dub should get the drop on him. As soon as he comes out here, he comes out. Dub gets the drop on him. Can he get... Oh, that's unlucky. Need a few more rounds into him. Not that heavily tagged, unfortunately. So a little bit unlucky there, but they just need a... Bomb is going down, and they do get it. So that one impervious. 17. 17. 15. Ooh, close stuff. Very close stuff. 17 to 15 here. Let's hope... Uh, now, we don't want Envision to win too many, just so we can get on to that second map. But uh, absolutely right there, little Murph. Envision do have to take the advantage. But they do have a player back from the looks of it. Yes, Bear is back. So whatever advantage they did have over the last few rounds is definitely gone. 4v2, 3v2, 2v2. Look at this. Taking it in turns. Really... Uh, such a classic game, such a close game. Natura over near Fountain, checking back towards Hotel. Not much happening there at all. Ooh, just spots up someone. My poor little eyesight didn't see him, but I got a. My game's minimised. It's taken up half my screen. It is none of this pleasure of full screen. Not with Black Ops. Natura does take down Bear. Finally got him two up here. Shads will put that bomb down on A. Well, no, he won't. Look at this. How that's unfortunate. Oh, can he? Ooh, Natura, quick enough, does respond. And they're saying one, two, and now they're just going to do a restart, just to even that up. Just because they play three attack, three defense, you need four rounds to uh, win. Four rounds to win. And that's what they're after here. So another quick uh, ready up. So on our scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen, though they're talking ones and twos, don't worry about that. The Team Down TV scoreboard, first to 19. And if they're both on 18, goes into a double overtime. So tight game, tight game. So we want uh, the Team Down TV scoreboard, someone to show 19. And that, they will be the winners of this first map. Brad moving in, big nade over the top. Natura here. Just spamming up to the end of the street, see if he can't get some tags and come out where his teammates go. Brad did get a uh, kill with that nade on x Tramer Stuka, taking out Dixon. So 4v4. 4v4. Can't separate these two teams. Still can't pick a uh, winner out. Still can't pick a winner. Brad does take down Shads there. 3 and 4. Politics pulls up 1. Evens that up. Politics gets the plus 10 as well, taking out Bear. Gizmo takes out Stuka. Politics is still loose on the run here. They want to take him down. Let's try and find Politics coming up now. Main road. If he looks over to his left, he will find uh, he will find a player. And he is last one up. So he really needs this one. Otherwise, Impervious are only one round away. So interesting stuff here. Interesting stuff. Can Impervious win this first map after Envision came out to such a strong lead, being 6-1? I think it was 6-1 originally. In the, uh, in the top of the uh, match. There we go. He spots up one. He's going to let him go. At least he knows where he is. Throws that nade over. Bomb has gone down on A. 
And he did spot someone up. I thought he did. There's one. Where's this last player? I have lost him. He's just outside on this bus. So he's a bit of a distance away. He will get there within the five seconds. Maybe we need a good old-fashioned bait. There's the bait. Oh, he spots him up now. And he's giving away his position. He's coming around the backside of the bus. Is he just going to jump and start shooting? Oh, shooting the wrong person. He shoots the dead body. Doing it up in the corner. Gizmo does get that one. So fantastic work there. And that one, uh, impervious. Another one to impervious. And I reckon I need to change my uh, scoreboard around. So give me a second here. Attack is impervious. So that round was out. That round was... Uh, Fine, so we got 18-16, so they only need the one more to win here, Impervious. Politics, first blood, Gizmo, Dub, pulls down Xtrama, Natura on the Brad. Oh, what a mess of that, what a mess. Stuka go, taking advantage of that, taking down Divi and Bear. Last player up here, didn't even get to see who that was. More importantly, Envision do win one. So what we're looking at, same situation as uh, a few rounds ago. Impervious, if they win this round, they win the map. If Envision win it... It'll go into double overtime. Double overtime. So, ooh, tough one to call. Tough one to call. Impervious have looked better in the last few rounds for sure. So let's hope that they can win this one. Bear pushing out with Brad over towards. Everyone's over at A here. Should be able to get this bomb down. They do get the first two kills. Only three up here. Bomb will go down with ease. Won't be anything interrupting that. Last one up. Who is he? It is Natura over behind this bus like he was... Last time, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. First map there, straight over to Impervious. Map one of whew, maybe three. So what a great game that was. Impervious 19 and Vision 17 after some uh, overtime. So they're just going to choose the map while they're doing that. Let me play a little bit of music, nothing too loud, just while I reset this scoreboard. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, map one. Map one, after uh, such a great start there from Envision, 6-1. My goodness, my goodness, Impervious coming back, um, grabbing that overtime and winning that overtime as well. So that's just map one. That is just map one. Let's hope we see some uh, decent maps. I'm not too sure what they're doing. They're probably bickering here, deciding what map is what. But I hope we see maybe a little bit of a um, Hanoi, maybe a bit of Hanoi. I'm not in the mood to see Grid. What would you guys like to see? That's... Uh, that's the big question there. Is there a map you're really uh, very keen on seeing or one you don't really have much interest in at all? So grid. Um, I don't really want to see grid. don't really want to see summit. And I'm not a big fan of those uh, those snow ones. Am keen to see Hanoi. I reckon we have seen a bit of that in Black Ops over the last few seasons. So I'm a little bit uh, I'm keen to see that. Just uh, the boys trolling. So matches are June until next week. What's going on here? What's going on? I'm only just, uh, I'm barely warmed up. So grid. Ah. Ah. Don't want grid. But here we go. 
I don't mind grid. It's just the snow maps and black ops and uh, streaming just doesn't work very well. But here we go. They're too white, too bright. Need to put on my sunglasses. That's what I need. So defense this time is um, Envision. Envision going to go defense from the looks of it. Impervious over on attack. Over on attack. Yeah, wow, what a game. Absolutely, Little Murph. Fantastic. And I'm proud to say I just refreshed my uh, just refreshed Twitch, and we've got 601 followers now on this main channel. 601. And uh, so that's really exciting stuff. Thanks a lot for that, ladies and gentlemen. And our second channel, we do have 49. So that's a total of 650 followers here for Team Down TV. Makes us feel good. Makes us feel pretty good indeed. I better ready up. Otherwise, they'll kick me. So, there we go. Map 1. Map 1. 1917. 1917 in favour of Impervious. Map 2 here. Going out on grid. Impervious on attack. Envision on defence. Who's going to win this map? Who is going to win, ladies and gentlemen? Tough one to say. Tough one indeed. I'm not too sure. I have seen a bit of this map. Um, I definitely have. Without a doubt, we've seen... Tons of this map in Black Ops over the last two seasons, but I have not been, uh, I haven't paid much attention to CGI this season. I haven't. This is possibly the uh, first game we've casted this season. CGI, maybe second one. Um, so it's hard to, it's hard to say with these two teams. But here we go. Kills going out left, right, and centre. Bomb with Bear still all the way, pretty much in spawn, just waiting up near sewer. The rest of his teammates, he does have one top B, and he does have one on B alleyway. Stooker does take out Dub. 2v2. 2v2. So no doubt Stooker's inside where B is. Gizmo takes down Trammer. And there we go. First round, Impervious. Impervious, they want to play some grand final action. They want to play some... That's one of the other ones I was thinking about. Woody, weapons of mass destruction. That's the, uh, that's the one with the stuff, isn't it? The train which goes past. Try to remember all these bar Black Ops maps. It's been a while since uh, we've seen it. We don't cast as many Black Ops 1 as we want, but we certainly want to do more. 4v4 here. Trammer gets a so does Jizz. Impervious looking solid pulling out that first round here. And looking like this one's going to be an absolutely another blockbuster match. Bomb still in spawn from the looks of it. Unless, uh, and that, was, unless that was Jizz getting, uh, or Bear should I say, getting... Uh, taken down but bomb is nowhere in sight politics and stuka pulling up a frag two up here we do have brad coming around for the big flank shots are coming down there's one one more behind him he's missed him he's right behind him he is right behind him let's have a look see Maybe he wasn't. Maybe it's just me seeing things, and that's why I don't play. That's why I don't play the big games. I think things are happening when they aren't. Last one up here is Brad. Brad is in a tough situation. He's right between two players. Shad should pick him up here. No, going in for the relay. Couldn't quite get him, though he is calmed down now. They do know where he is. He's going back for more. Shad's jumps down. I'm pretty sure that Shad's there. And he's lost him. He's getting picked up. Not too sure what he's doing there. Seemed a little bit lost and confused. But uh, Envision do pull that one out on defense. 1v1 on the Team Down TV Black Ops 1 scoreboard, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, like I said earlier on before this game, we did have some Black Ops 2 action between TG and Evil Inc. Evil Inc. winning that one fairly convincingly. 13 Six, which was a great game. VOD will be up after this match, along with this one here, which uh, at the moment looks like it's uh, probably one of the best games we've seen all season for Black Ops. Natura just coming around B Alley there. Gets a nice little frag. Lots of headshots going on there. Dub getting another one onto politics. Bear easily takes down Natura. Natura looked left when he should have looked right. And he does get dropped. 3-1. Last one up here is Shads with that scope. So he's got a tough job here to do. Just coming up past A-bomb. Heading back towards B. Past the truck. Does hear that bomb go down. Big flash. Can he get up there? He missed his jump. And again, it's just not working for him. 
There we go. He go oh, what a shot. What a shot. Outstanding. Shad's on the bed. Jumps up. Gets fragged. Or gets tagged. Says thank you very much. Absolutely beautiful work there from Shad. Where's these other two players? We do have someone out here. Just a stop of Air Ducks. Jumps down. He's getting out of that by himself some time. There we go. Large office. Jizz is in there. Oh, Jizz has made a mess. No, he's been able to recover that. Was lucky. Impervious. Two. Uh, good evening, Galaxy. How are you? Haven't seen you all night. Where have you been? Been out, been about. But you haven't been here like you normally are. Mind you, last night you were fairly late to uh, join us too. x a beautiful plus 10 there, pulling out Divi and uh, Bear. But it's lovely to have you once again, Galaxy, joining us here at Team Down TV. Shads, takes out Brad. Nice scope work. Especially that last round, taking out Bear. Absolutely fantastic. That one there. We'll make it on the highlight reel for sure. If we had highlight reels, quick round. Quick round and uh, two apiece. Two apiece. So close to what last map started off. Last map, Galaxy just uh, joining us now. Last map did go into overtime and it was 19-17 in favour of Envis uh, Impervious. And that's after Impervious started off with a 6-1 lead on... Uh, Divi taking down x Trevor, 5-4. Brad has come around for the big flank here. Bear does get a headshot on the Natura. And I reckon he's going to try and sniff out Shads, which is right there. Oh, he nearly made a mess of that one, ladies and gentlemen. Does pull him up, though, and does recover nicely. Ne he's nearly went a little bit pear-shaped, a little bit messy for him. Doesn't have the bomb. I thought he may have got him for the plan. He's going to go all the way around and uh, try and out, uh, outsmart the opposition. Jumps down there, Stooker. Right in front of Bear. Bear says, thank you very much. What a lovely gift. Last one up here is Politics. Politics has played some of his biggest plays on this map through the times I've seen him. Is this one of those times for him to stand up and pull something off pretty special? Well, there's one. Dub not paying attention at all. Just sitting down. Yeah, maybe enjoying the buzzing off all those uh, electricity lines. Who knows? There is shots coming out. Not quite good enough there um, this time politics only 4-4 four, four, so he's only just breaking even and impervious 3-2 three to, uh, three to 2 looking good again and good evening the fortune maker thank you very much for joining us and like I said ladies and gentlemen we have pushed over 600 followers always looking for more though so if you haven't followed us jump on and follow us here bringing you action from the cyber gamer um Cyber Gamer Black Ops League action on PC. Divi getting a few frags there, taking out Trammer and Stooker. Bomb is with Bear. And they are pushing in. They're going to do the old switch ready, maybe over to A. Last one up is Polly. Same situation as last time. He did get one frag, couldn't pull off the three for the clutch. Can he do it this time? He's in a good spot here. Shots have come out, though, and unfortunately, he wasn't sneaky enough. Impervious, four rounds to two. So just uh, breaking away a little bit there. Breaking away just a little bit, Crown there. A little bit of a buffer, two rounds, not much. But, you know, you'd rather be two rounds up than two rounds down. And that is after six rounds. So a quarter of the way through this... Uh, through this map already. Map two of maybe three. If Envision can win this one, we'll go off to the third map. If they can't, Impervious straight through to the grand final. And uh, Envision knocked out. But they don't look as switched on as they could be tonight. Natura is trying to get a pick there. He does manage to pick up Jizz coming up. Big alley. And just shooting out. Shooting everywhere, but except where Brad was. So Brad picks him up easy there with his sub. 1v1, we do have uh, Shads here with the scope, who has done some pretty good things with that at close range. And Brad just coming up these stairs now. No, he's not going to come up these stairs. And that bomb, Shads has got that bomb under lock and key. Shads on the other side. If he, This is a good timing now, absolutely perfect timing. As soon as Brad comes out, can we flick to Brad? Let's do the old flick. There he is. Though. Brad's gone and done, ooh, we'll switch around, come up behind him. And uh, takes out Shads there. So well played by Brad. Even tricked uh, tricked me, which isn't that hard. Just make sure I've got those scores right. I certainly do. 5-2. to two.
There we go. Holy onto it. Holy onto it. Keeping an eye on stuff in chat for me. Thank you very much, Dub. Gets the nice nade kill. Stuka pulls one up. A nice headshot there on the Brad. Flash is going in. The true is going to push in, see if there's anyone in this B office. Yes, there is. Someone behind him behind the desk, which is Dub. And he makes easy work of that. Gizmo pulling up Stuka. 3v3. Close games. All these games. So many rounds which have been so, so close. We've only seen, uh, I think, four or five rounds where everyone's gone down the opposition where... Um, where one team have left up with all or most of their plays. So it has been some really close rounds there. Bear taking out Shads and takes down uh, Natura as well. Let's keep an eye on Bear, see what he's doing, pulling out some special stuff now. 1v1. We have got x -Trammer. He's all the way up one end of B. And Bear slowly making his way around that. He will cut through. And x -Trammer just on top of him now. Ooh. He's opted to go through. x is staying up top, just missing those stairwell coming down. So they, he's, he's behind him now. So Bear is just coming up behind him. And x has gone back down just where Bear was. So doing the old switcheroony, both of these players here. Bear's pretty sure it's all clear, but where is that bomb? That bomb is all the way over near Sewers. So this one could actually go in advantage for the defending team, which is Envision, based on time. Bear has to rush around now. Bear has got that bomb. He's going to come through. x is waiting for him and does take him down perfectly. So good work there. Envision needed that round. Three to five. Two rounds difference once again. But, uh, yeah, it didn't help having that bomb all the way over in sewers. He had to get that much sooner. But they were chasing each other around, going around in circles as well. In the same direction. Let's spot up someone we haven't seen much of. Let's watch a bit more of Bear here. Stuka does people out. Divi. Shad's on to Brad. Doing good work with that uh, with that scope. I am enjoying some of the close range uh, shots he has been pulling off. Bear's in a fight here. Is there someone in long office? Yes, there is. He can't quite get him. He's heavily tagged. He's pulling away. 3v5 this time. And Vision do have the advantage. They want to close that score gap just a little bit. Maybe even grab an advantage going into half time. Who knows? But they don't want to let it get out. There we go. Couldn't see Dub's name for a moment that he is back. Natura does take out Dub. Natura on these stairs. And they're just going to bang that as much as possible. Try and get lucky. Bear jumps around the corner. He was lucky to pick up Natura there. Who's just standing on all that comms equipment. Two up. One up. One up. Last one up here is Jizz, and he's in a bit of problem in this long office. And they'll be circling in from pretty much every angle, looking up the roof. That's not going to help you, Sunshine. You need to stay focused. Shad's here looking at B bombsite. All clear there. x -Trammer coming around. x -Trammer should actually be meeting up with Jizz. Jizz doing the old switch to Rooney. Is he going to switch to A? Is he going to cut through and go back into B? He wants to cut through, but this might cause a problem for him. X Trammer is should might just get eyes on him there. Might. And running out of time. Jizz coming in does get taken out. So well played there by X Trammer and Shads. And only one round difference now. Another super close one. Another. Another big uh, another uh, close one, may I say. That's the problem. I'm nearly out of Milo. I've still got my Milo from before, guys, but now it's just stone cold. That's all right, still a little bit loud. Natura taking out Divi. 3v3. So many times we've seen this, exchanging uh, exchanging deaths, one, then the other, then the other. And we, right now we're still like 3v2. Three, uh, three Jizz does get a nade kill on Shads. Natura just watching out towards this A bomb site. There is a bit of smoke over there. Does spot someone up. Does get a few tags on him. Can't quite get him. No, Jizz takes him down, unfortunately. But he was onto a bomb. Is getting done, put down now onto... Uh, a last player up is Politics, and he is just behind here as soon as they pop out. He has put out a few shots. They do know where he is now. He's going to jump and fire. Where's he playing on? There he goes. He should pick out with ease. He does. Takes down Bear. Comes around on the other side, and not quite. I thought he may have had the uh, advantage there, but that is 6-4 to four now, ladies and gentlemen, in favour of Impervious. After 10 rounds, so uh, that is two-thirds of this first half. There we go. There's some fractions for you. Two-thirds of this first half um, out of the way. A few more rounds before we switch into half time. And 
Yeah, it's, it's a tough one. I still can't pick a winner yet of this map. You think Impervious are playing a little bit better. Can they take it out 2-0? Even though the uh, the top of the top of the cast, a lot of people are saying Envision 2-0. Yeah, it could be Impervious who pulled that off. Bear coming up long office. His teammate does get taken down by Stuka, who's in small office. But can't uh, pick anything up. One player up left. He gets taken down. 7-4. Just starting to create another one of those little gaps they had last time. Stretching that lead out a little bit, but this is the stage we have seen Envision get back another round or two. So Envision running out of time here to level up these scores. Um, they, you've got time to get ahead. If they win this one, they can actually go into half time ahead. Natura does see someone jump out to the right-hand side. He does pull him up. Last one up here is Gizmo. So this will be round one out of... Uh, out of the four, Envision need to get ahead. And Jiz still all the way back here at Sewers, heading up to B bomb site right now. Up he goes, taking his time nice and easy, see if he can't spot anyone. It all looks pretty clear. Let's have a look. We do have Stuka. Stuka should see him. And not too sure who got that kill there but uh they do win that one and vision so envision that's one they need that's one they need ladies and gentlemen need another three more and that will uh not just give them four rounds in a row but it'll give them the advantage going into half time yeah the fortunate maker cgi games uh normally um cgi can be slow i find sometimes cg cgo is generally really slow or just a massive sped rush, and it depends who outspeds each other. The team to talk to for that would be TG. TG, have a talk to them. They know all about sped rushing here. 3v3 now. Chaz does pull up a kill. Oh, what's... Brad made a bit of a mess of that. He did have a few pokes at Brad... At uh, Shad, sorry. But uh, Shad's quick enough and takes him down. Shad gets another one there on the dub with a nice headshot. Last one up here is Bear. Can Bear get a 3v1 clutch? Poking around that long office couple of shots going in and no he can't so that is two that is two for Envision Envision looking at getting this half time advantage for sure can they do it can they do it that is the question 5-5 five, five. no one's gone down yet early time early time I think that's uh, I think that's what we need, Woody. Remind me later that we need something here. Message me on Steam saying, uh, Steve, you said we need something. I'll tell you what it is we need. 5v5, X-Trammer here. Keep an eye. Make sure no one's coming up. Back alleyway. Shad Stuka gets a plus 10, taking out Divi and Bear. 3v4, still so close here, ladies and gentlemen. They envision really want this advantage. Shots coming out. Natura from the other side. No tags up there for Stuka though. Natura just hanging outside the window, jumping down those stairs, doing all sorts of fancy stuff there. Brad coming around to A. Bomb looks like it's down. Bomb is down. So they really want to pick up that bomb. They uh, had a problem with that last time. Oh, we do spot up a player there. Where was that player? Could not see him. I think he was in. There he goes, jumping out onto truck. Oh, nearly made a mess of that. Natura does pull up Brad though. Just last player up here is jizz so envision really pushing to uh get that advantage at half time this will put them a uh, seven apiece and then it depends who wins that next one will they have the advantage envision are uh, looking a little bit more swatched switched on may i say jizz last one up here for impervious for impervious I can see uh, I can see you wrote that little Murph. I can see you say, damn, that's disappointing cyanide. But whatever you wrote, I said it three minutes ago. I can't ha remember what happened 30 seconds ago, unfortunately. So that one's 7-7, seven, seven, ladies and gentlemen, as predicted. And Vision, we're going to win that one now. Who's going to have the advantage coming into half time? <coughs> that is the big question here with um, Envision really catching up these last few rounds, which has been uh, good for their confidence going into half time. Maybe one up. Impervious really need this round just so they don't start losing confidence. It takes the opposite effect. Trayman does pull up Gizmo. Nice headshot there with a, uh, that first blood going out. Dub pulls up X Trayman. So exchange there. Divi on a bear with a nice nade. Here we go. He's a gift. Natura made a mess of that. 
Natura should have easily picked up Dub there, getting first eyes and first drop on him. But uh, just a bit skew whiff there with his aim. Stuka on Divi. 2v2. Both teams want this advantage going into half time. Who could it be? One up here, Stuka. Oh, he's so lucky. So lucky. He nearly caked that. Nearly had some birthday cake with cream on his face. He nearly made that much of a mess of it. He needed a bib. But he did get out of it somehow. So here he goes. The stalk is on. The hunt is on. We do have Brad in B alleyway coming in underneath now. And Stuka on the opposite side. On the opposite side. Just trying to see what he can or can do. He needs to defend. And Brad needs to plant, but Brad doesn't have the bomb. That's just here in long office, it should be. And he would have enough time here to get that bomb down. Stuka hasn't moved at all. Look at that, hasn't moved. Get that bomb, but he's got the mind game going on now. There we go. Stuka's heard him pick up the bomb. Going in for the plant. And it was just a fake, so he's trying to bait him out. Now he's going in for the real deal, and this is the mistake. This will give... Oh! Oh, well played, Brad. Well played. Went in for that second bait, and impervious half-time, they will go in with that advantage. Let me change that over. Let me press my switching sides. Let me ready up, ladies and gentlemen. So many buttons to push. So many buttons. And sorry about that's a bit loud. I need to turn that down. And back to the... Uh, Main game, where's that one? So, half-time, Envision 7, Impervious 8. Wow, just like last game. So close, so close. This is where... Um, this is where... Impervious started pulling away last game. Started pulling away. And um, then, obviously, Envision pulled back up and um, forced that overtime there. So, let's see what happens here. Stuka, first blood on Brad, 4v5. Shads with the scope, just hanging out. B Alley, can't see much happening at all. He's not a bad high jumper. Should join the Olympics. There's a few skills there. Dub takes down politics. Stooker on a Gizmo. Dub again on an X-Tramer. Last one up is Dub. Has pulled out two kills. Can he get the team down? That's the question. Wow. Can't keep up. Gets another one. Two more. And he will get his team down. That'll be exciting stuff. There's one. Can he get the second one? No, he didn't get one. Well. Oh, my goodness. Missed out. Just... Just, what a perfect opportunity to get the uh, team down. But unfortunately, unfortunately, too many targets. So few, uh, so, what's the saying? So many assholes, so few bullets. That's right. She's out making me a new one now. Don't worry about that. It's because I'm talking. I'm so much talking and watching you guys and watching... I'm looking at a lot of things here. I need more monitors. That's what I need. Everyone's gone down this round. Bang, bang, bang. Bear gets the plus 10. 2v1. 2v1, ladies and gentlemen. Natura, last one up, coming up. B Alley. Bomb is top B. So Natura, he knows there's one just on top of him. He's going to sneak in, go under. No. He's going to take these back stairs in, I think. Not quite quick enough on that, and uh, that's uh, Impervious 9. Impervious, I, re I reckon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I, um, I reckon Impervious might have this. They're just doing enough to stay ahead. They are. Now, obviously, we've just had the round switch, and things can change up, but they're doing just enough to uh, stay ahead. I think they might be the better team on the night. Oh, my goodness. Brad jumping out like... Uh, Evil Knievel there. Stuka takes advantage of that. Just takes him down. 3v5. Bear's got to live here. Divi does take down one player in politics. Now, politics, we haven't seen much of him in this map. Let's have a look at him and see if we can't inspire him like we did last time. Shads with that python does get a frag over near. Stuka pulls one up as well. Last one up here is Dub. He's in all sorts of trouble here. He's got four to take down, three to take down. Does get that one. Shads is top. Needs to defuse that bomb as well. This is a very heavy ask and unable to do that. That evens up scores once again. So let's have a look here. Let's see if we can't find... Uh, let's see if we can't find... Politics. There he goes. Let's pop politics. Last time we gave him a little bit of... Um, we did give him a little bit of... Uh, 
lip and he came through and did some good work. Is that going to be the case there? There we go. He's got one kill. Let's have a quick look see at politics. 11-16, so he really isn't doing well at all. Let's hope we can give him uh, a bit of inspiration here. Watch him checking those stairs. Thoughts he thinks he hears someone. Out with the nade. Does get it as well. Sticks his head around the corner at the wrong time, though, and Dub takes that off. So he just pull up foot, two frags that round, which is good for him. Natura coming around the back. 3v1. Last one up here is Dub. And there are a few players around him. Too many targets to hit. One more in front of him. Can't get it. He's got to watch that car there. He'll be shooting that to hopefully blow that up. Look at that. Wall banging through uh, eight inches of concrete. You need to fix that stuff, Woody. You need to fix it. Nine and ten for Envision. So Envision pulling away. So Envision has got the lead at the moment. But I think, I think Impervious may still have it overall. Dub watching this B alleyway. Not much has been happening in that B alley this map at all. They are down to three players and Vision X Trammer with the bomb. Really slowly coming up the stairs. Takes out Divi being a little bit reckless. Shaz does take down X Trammer. His shot's coming down. There we go. There's one they needed. So 10 10. 10 10. Wow. <laughs> Could we see some overtime again? Yeah, Jimmy, you're just asking us. It's uh, best of 16. Uh, oh, sorry, it's best of 30, so first to 16 wins. If it's uh, you swap sides at 15 rounds, and if both teams are on um, 15 apiece, then it goes into overtime. Overtime, you have three rounds on one side, three rounds on the other. You need four to win. So it's either first to four, obviously, or first to 19. But if scores are on 18-18, then it goes into double overtime. It just keeps going. So hopefully that clarifies the uh, overtime and the uh, winning requirements there. Natura getting heavily tagged up through this wall here. Extrema does take out Jim. Oh, Natura pops out at the right time. Takes out Dub. Nice work there. Thinks he sees someone down below. Only one player up. Let's try and catch him. He is. He does. He has to have eyes on him. And this one will give Envision. Um, there we go. So Envision catch that one. Again, interesting stuff. Woody's jumping in to join us once again. Sexy Woody. We go 5v5, 11 10, so close. Envision, um, we, they won two rounds, obviously, to push them, uh, to push them one ahead. And the Pervious have been winning than Envision, so Envision just staying ahead now. 11 to. Um, 10, even now, 5-3 in favour of Envision, so they might be looking at getting another two rounds together, Natura, beautiful work didn't quite get the frag though, shooting up through that smoke, did have someone pinned Shads pulls up Divi and Dub last player up here for is Gizmo for Impervious, does spot a player up running around the truck, oh he picks him up oh he's, he's oh my goodness, he made a mess, oh he's lucky super lucky there he, uh, he was watching, decided to reload at the wrong time. He's getting poked now. Tagged up. So they know where he is, and they're just going to come out, just waste that time, get a few tags. And I don't think they're interested in getting the kill. If they get the kill, that's just a bonus. But it's all about uh, putting the pressure on him here and keeping away from that bomb site. Don't give him any chance to defuse. And they're all just running around now. Running around. Does get pulled up. That must have been Shads with the scope. And... 12 to 12 to 10. So after me saying a few rounds ago that I reckon Impervious, Impervious have got this one, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, Envision need four more rounds. Impervious still need six rounds or five to possibly force that overtime. Brad here really pushing through. He does come up, pulls up one player there in the Tura. One player up. X Trammer. It's really... <laughs> It's going, taking it in turns. A few players up for uh, the winning team the last few rounds and the uh, losing team really dropping a lot of players early. Last one up here, x Trammer, all the way near uh, this icy rock down near uh, Sewers. And they have flashed him now. They have spotted him. Or just a random flash. Must have just been a random flash. You can hear all these gunshots coming out. Gets flanked. And 
they do pull that one back 10 uh sorry 12 to 11 in favor of envision though yeah i don't think uh not all season i don't think all season we've had a game this close and definitely definitely not since last finals as team down tv covered a game as close to this as we uh as we see tonight for Black Ops. It's been absolutely fantastic from both of these teams. Really working hard. And if it goes to a third map, then it, then it starts getting obviously a little bit challenging because playing, um, playing a game for three hours, it really starts taking a toll mentally. And you need to start thinking a lot more. As a person who can stay more focused will win that third map. If it goes to it, at the moment, it looks like a Vision are pushing for that third map and they may get it. Even though there's only one round buffer, Dub. Dub's gone to uh, switch over, doing a bit of scoping. Natura here sneakily just grabbing in and taking that bomb site, bomb back, and he wants to head over towards B bomb site where his teammate is, just clearing that out. Or is he clearing it out? Divi does take down Shads. So the last one up here is Natura. Now he knows Divi's definitely up here, just taking out Shads. But where is he? There he goes. There's one. Jumps down. Shots do come out from across the way. Not quite quick enough to react there. 12-12. Scores are tied once again. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, um, Fortune Maker. Last season, last season, um, Black Ops. I know there was a game where two, it went, it went double over time. Then the next one... Next game, it may have went to double overtime again. So that was two maps in a row into double overtime. And I know Modern Warfare 3, we had a finals match once go into a triple overtime, it may have been. Um, so you do see it sometimes, not too often, are rare. But that just goes to show how close some of these teams are together. And obviously, one of these teams are having a night not as good as the other, which would be um, Envision, I think, coming coming into this. Envision were favourites going at 2-0. Uh, to zero. But uh, Impervious won, won the last one. And Envision, they're ahead here by one. But I tell you what, it's a tough fight, this one. Tough for all the players. It's a big struggle. And Natura must be one of the worst nades I've ever seen. <laughs> he held onto it too long and it hit the ground a few metres in front of him. Though he does pull up the kill, and uh, which is what you want. Politics does pull out Bear. 5-3, Extrema, Gizmo. Now it's time to get that bomb down for Envision. They're looking at, they really want this map. Divi does get a plus 10, taking down Politics. Stuka and also Natura. So that's the plus 15. Plus 15 does get taken down. Couldn't do any more damage. Two headshots in there as well. Extrava taking him down. Last one up here is Dub. He's on this B bomb site. So he's going to have a hard time. There is someone behind him chasing him down. Let's switch back here. So Shads is right on this B bomb site having a look at it. And the bomb is slowly heading away. Is it going to go to A? It certainly is going to go to A. And that's what they want. Mind you, Dub's in a fantastic position here. You can hear that bomb going down. Is he going to jump around the corner? Get in there, son. Stop that. Oh, not quite quick enough to stop the defuse. Then we've still got two to kill. There's one. Now Big Shads. Where's Big Shads? Shads is at the back. Over near his power plant. That's bottom. We're going to scope v scope. No, he switched back to his AK. Oh, so close. Unfortunately, couldn't do it. Envision, 14, Impervious, 12. That one was a real close one there, ladies and gentlemen. That one was super close. A little bit unlucky, nearly. And uh, now what, what that's done, instead of evening up those scores again, Envision got that two-point lead. Brad, nice nade there on Stuka. Just having a look here. Stuka has 32 bombed, so good work for him. 32-22. We didn't see the scores at half time. Um, too many buttons to press. 5v4 and Vision are down one. And this is one which uh, Impervious really need. Impervious need the next, uh, the next four rounds, really. Bit of friendly fire there. Politics does take down Brad. With uh, Natura just shooting off on his teammate. Getting a bit excited at each other. Shooting at anything they see. And that's probably why they're two rounds ahead. Dub is at the moment leading the scoreboard for Impervious. Does take down Trammer. Well, a bit... Uh, <laughs> that was entertaining to watch. Bear does take down Natura Politics. Straight in to offer some reinforcements. Takes down Bear. 
a bit of a gun battle here between Dub and Politics. Politics pull out that one and win two up here. And Politics last one up heading into top B, reloading everything, making sure he's uh, got full ammo heading into this uh, potential gunfight he's about to have. Want to get that bomb down on B. Everything seems clear. It is really hard for him here. He wants to plant that bomb. Oh, look at that. Absolutely silly. Gizmo does go down. He's going in for that fake. Oh, Jiz is going to get this. No, Divi. Just. Divi just. 13 14. 13 14. So, Impervious really do need the next three rounds here. Or, I don't know. Will we see overtime again, guys? Let me know what you think. I think it's a good chance we will. For sure, it's a good chance. Absolutely. And it's late for a lot of these players. Being over in. Uh, the Eastern States, we are talking quarter past 11, and they've still got maybe another map to go, which will be another map that's uh, over midnight. So is uh, I think if it goes to a third map, one team will just dominate the other, I believe. Down to three players here for Impervious. x trammer does pull one back. They need to watch this. They want to keep this advantage. They do have a good spread over the map. Comms should be going out on where the Envision boys are. Can they react to that? And win this round which they desperately need to stay in here and just finish this off to uh two zero without pushing it to a third map looking up here we do have shads in this b alleyway trying to let his python do all the big work for him that flash that flash could potentially hurt him we'll stay with shads he didn't come in after it so obviously he didn't feel that he uh he shot him enough Shad's getting tagged up behind, not before. Shad takes out Divi, and there we go. So that is 14 apiece now. 14 apiece. Wow. Don't know what to say at the moment. So close. I just can't help. Either Envision are going to come out and uh, win the next two rounds, all right? But I don't know. There's two big, two massive kills. There, four Impervious, one for Bear, one for Brad, leaving Envision with only three up. Brad here just doing it out near Statue. Natura and company, Politics pulls up Bear. 3v4, so close, so close indeed. They really want to uh, try and stay focused. Need a little bit of luck going their way as well, Impervious. But if Envision win this one, I reckon they'll win this map. If uh, Impervious win it, they might win this map. Divi, just been a bit reckless there, comes in to pull out one. They've only got the one player to uh, really muck around with here, so they want to be cautious. Both teams really close together around this B bomb site. Dub moving in for the flank. Jizz keeping things very, very tight just in this communication room. Checking his flank. Bomb is going down on B. Out with the flash. Get in there, boys. Go finish it off. Natura does pull up one. 2v2 situation. Just playing silly buggers a little bit. There we go. Shots are gone out from Jizz. Oh, coming up from behind. Absolutely sensational. Can Brad get the plus 10? Yes. No, he can't. 1v1, 2v1. And there we go. The fuse going in from Jizz. So well done there. And Impervious 15. Envision 14. So Envision just a few rounds ago were two rounds up. Now Impervious, if they win this one, that's 2-0. It's all over. They're straight into the grand final. And like I said, there's about, uh, there's about 1,800 dollars ish up for grabs for the three divisions this season for black ops so good prize money there so whoever wins this map is through the grand final impervious really want this one there we go one kill each bear gets the plus 10 doing good work for his team politics takes down bear it's all even here ladies and gentlemen took it takes down brad so we're going to go into overtime or stalker takes down divi one up here, unfortunately, for Jizz. Jizz is not going to clutch this 3-1. to one. This is going to push this one into overtime once again. He is going to try and do it. Obviously, does get spotted up. Oh, just not quite. So that is 15-15. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Overtime once again. Fifteen, fifteen, heading into overtime. Let me switch this scoreboard around. Wow.
No, we did uh, we did Black Ops 2 at the beginning of the night there, uh, Lizzie not too sure, Lizzie Doze, not too sure how to pronounce your name. We did uh, we did start off, we did a Black Ops 2 match, and then we've headed into this uh, um, best of three here, but exciting stuff. And guys, if you haven't followed us, please follow us. Um, we generally bring a fair amount of Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, a little bit, not too much, COD 4, League of Legends, um, a little bit of uh, StarCraft. Um, we do all sorts. We do a lot of games here at TV D T Team Down TV. Can't even say our name anymore. Can't even say it. Been going now for uh, around the three-hour mark. So let's see what happens here. So who do you guys, who do you guys think are going to win this? Who is going to win this? Too tough to call. Impervious made a mess of that last one, that last round there. They could have walked away winning 2-0. This has pushed it over in time. And Vision really want to make it up to that grand final. Just... Uh, Talking about stuff here in chat, not too sure what's going on. I'll just play a little bit of music in the background.
Hey guys, just a quick update here. You're probably, uh, I'm pretty sure it's been three minutes, so you guys are seeing what I'm seeing here where we're just waiting, scores are 15 15, just waiting for everyone to ready up, but we've just, uh, we've just got a little bit of controversy here. We just need to clarify one of the um, rules. A player from one of the teams may have had a setting on which may or may not have been allowed which uh, the admins, Woody and Holy, are trying to work through and trying to get that. So I'll just keep that music on for now. And uh, as soon as we know what's happening, I'll, uh, I'll uh, let you guys know. So hopefully not too long and, and, uh, and we're straight back into this, which has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it's been a fantastic finals game so far. So bear with us. Um, I'll let you know either way what's going on. I just wanted to give you an update. But uh, here's some more tunes. Um, the music is um, is Raider. It is. I'll get you a. I'll try and get you a link.
All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Sorry about that long delay. The admins just had to uh, sort out some stuff, but we are back, we are up, we are running, and let me make sure I've got everyone on the right team's attack. We do have Impervious. That is correct. So a little bit of overtime here to push us through, and what a cracker of a game we have had so far. Let's see what's going on here. So Natura does take out Divi. Only one up here. One up, which is Brad. What can Brad do? Not too much. He is in a bit of a situation just outside truck here and he gets taken down first one there goes to envision in this overtime and off we go again a little bit unorganized now i, I, I was talking to you guys there in the streamer before i knew it the uh the game was up and running so just give me a round or two to get my thoughts together here we go brad coming in oh he's lucky he got that and runs through, Xtrama takes him down. Gizmo gets a nice nade on Xtrama. It's a shame it couldn't have been just a second early. Politics taking down Baird. And a beautiful shot there by Natura on a dub. Can't, don't get much better than that. Politics taking down Divi. One up here, left for Impervious, which is Giz. And that is two rounds straight up to Envision. Two away now for pushing into one more map. And uh, yes, I am. I am casting. I am casting. Holy, just wanted to, uh, just wanted to know. So here we go, pushing away even more. If you could just answer my question, Holly, that's all I. That's all I want. That's all I care about, Holly. I can't hear you actually because I've got Teamspeak all the way down. But look at the two v two situation. Very exciting stuff. Impervious. Do you need to pull this one back? Do need this one pulled back here so they have a chance um, of taking this out to zero X Trama. X Trama uh, did go down. Natura last one up. Jizz and Dub still up here. Natura is heavily flashed just down on the bottom stairs. In a bit of trouble. Is in a little bit of trouble. 1v1, Dub versus Natura. Bomb is down. Diffusing. Natura does have the task of getting that uh, diffuse down. Uh, just trying to get a... Just trying to get a little bit more information here from my mate. Holy. So if Envision, if Envision do win this one, it will go out to the third map. So a bit of a late night, but some great nights. Is great night of Black Ops 2. Natura does take down Dub. He will get that diffuse, and that is three there. To, oh, he didn't. He didn't get that one. That was uh, that was lucky there. Just enough time on that clock, and they. Oh, I thought they dropped down to four players for a little bit. Sixteen, seventeen, and a pervious. Really want this win here. Really want this win. I'm just uh, bear with me just for a second. Just why change over these. Windows just a little bit. I'm just going to turn my team speak up just in case. Holy wanted to say anything in which we care about, which is a very rare thing. I don't think that would happen anyway. What's going on this one? Oh, we're not ready. Dead round. Dead round. Not even paying attention there. Not dead round, half time. Half time. 15, 16, 17, 16. There we go. That's how confused I am, ladies and gentlemen. Throw me out for a minute. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, what was that, Holly? Who won in overtime? And Vision need to win two out of the best to, to take the win. That's right. I'm on the ball, but all that downtime we had, I got so confused and then. Uh, then the game was started because I read it up just in case it did, and then it was started. So it's taken me a round or two to get uh, all my thoughts back together, which are just about here. Brad does get a nice kill on x Tramer there. Jeez, on a Shads. One player up here, which is Natura. He gets absolutely stomped there. Impervious, 17 apiece. As we see again, ladies and gentlemen, I have not seen a game in that long where it's round for round. This is unbelievable between these two teams. Definitely 
you know, the only thing which could make this game better is if it was a grand final. That's the only thing which could improve on this. Absolutely unbelievable. Five apiece heading into round number. God knows what round it is. 34, 35. Round 35 in this game. Stuka does get a nice headshot there onto Brad. 5v4. Natura keeping a good eye on this B bomb site. They want to get that bomb down. Divi. Divi, lovely plus 10 there. Bear pulls up Shaz. Divi again. So plus 15 there for Divi. Three very quick kills. And off they go. There we go. They do win that one on defense. And that gives them the advantage. Look at that. One game advantage. Impervious. If they win this round, it's all over. 2-0. Now, I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to get his name wrong here, Holy, so don't, don't, don't get upset with me. But is it Alajeli? Yeah, that's pretty much what we call him. Alajeli, you didn't carry last night, mate. You didn't carry last night at all. You know, lift your game. Lift your game, mate. No, no sore shoulders for yourself. Dub does take down Stuka. Divi onto Natura. 5v3 in favour. They're going to win this one. They are going to win this one, ladies and gentlemen. X Tremor, big plus 10. Gizmo pulls back the headshot. So 3 fake 2 or 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Polly gets down bare. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot get closer than this. Impervious need this one. And that will seal the deal. 2-0. Bomb is nearly going down. Brad does take down. x 2v1. Last player up here. Ladies and gentlemen, is Politics. Politics does get the kill on Brad. Oh, Politics. Oh, my goodness. Double overtime. Oh, my goodness. A little bit reckless there. A little bit reckless. Double overtime. Now, yeah, last season, last season we've seen some double overtime CGI finals. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know it's business time in Black Ops when you're getting double overtime and you're getting scores as close as we see now. Oh, I can't pick a winner. What about you guys watching? Is there a winner here or is it not? We're just going to spend the next hour doing overtime. Still already up there, Steve. Too much overtime. Now I'm forgetting to ready up. I was good at the beginning of the night. I just feel Impervious should have won that last round. They, they had two players up against Politics. Politics hasn't been going big all night, apart from some stuff early on, and they threw that away. They did. Perfect opportunity. x first blood there on the bear. And uh, oh, great vision there for Brad. Does pull down Shads. Unfortunately, Stooker took down Brad. And it's a clean slate because they've restarted so they can get those team switch back again. But 18, 18. So do your maths. 18 plus 4 is 22. First to 22. Stuka does take down Jizz. Dub on the politics. 3v2. So close. So close. So. Oh. So much. So much online here. Dub does think he sees someone at the end of the alleyway. 2v3. They do have the disadvantage. Envision do have the one up. Is that enough? Is that enough? Who knows? x -Tramer does pull him down. So last one up here is Divi. He's over on A bomb site. There's a good chance he might actually get this bomb down. pulling away for a sneaky A push with everyone else half a B. They are. They are holy. And the reason you can't hear me talk holy... Because you're probably getting a little bit lost there thinking, what's going on? One minute I can hear Steve talk, the next minute I can't is because I'm not actually pushing my team stick button because I don't need to. <laughs> That's just rude. Yeah, so you don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea. There we go. First round there over to uh, Envision. So that is 19 to 18. Like I said 22. 22 is the magic number in this double overtime. Let me find someone to watch. Let's actually pull up here. We haven't done this for a while. And have a bit of a look-see at politics. Politics top B already. Keeping an eye on long office there. Not much coming through. No one's gone down yet. Did hear a flash just behind him. He just spot someone up now on the top of the stairs. Still, it does take down Brad. Bear, big shots there onto Natura. Four apiece. So close. Both teams fighting really hard here. He does push through. Politics gets one. Politics gets two. He gets the plus ten. Headshot there on Bear. Shuts him down straight away. Can he get the third? No, he can't. 
X Trammer does take down Jizz. One player up. Let's see who that is. The unlucky soul there is Dub. He's all the way at the back of B, coming around to A. Not much to see, though. Oh, does spot someone up on the balcony. So all the boys from Envision will know where he is now, and this will put Envision two rounds clear. They'll definitely win this one. I can't see Dub pulling out. Well, there's one frag. Oh, someone on the top stairs. Quick reload. And there's a flash. It won't get him, though. No, it was. Won't get him. Top comms. Does see him walk away. If he gets this kill, there is a chance that flash is going to hurt him, and that might be the end. We'll stay on him, even though we can't see anything here. And he survived it, looking into the wall. I noticed that, holy, a lot of players in Black Ops, they will throw a flash, and I know they don't know if they've got the flash or not, but they don't generally pursue it, do they? Um, it really all depends on the situation. There is definitely a lot of times, though, where your flash just to sort of slow them down into position and just throw them off more so than push them. That's a nice bait. I was about to say that's a nice bait. Nearly picks up that kill. Not quite, and he's going down for another bait. Comes around. Oh, not quite. The knife. We haven't seen. That was the first knife we've seen tonight. Envision. 20. So they pull out the first two rounds there. One more before we switch again, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, in, uh, in overtime, three rounds switch, and then three rounds on the opposing side. And uh, it's uh, best of six, four to four to uh, win in uh, overtime. Oh, nice. Oh, Extrema. Unbelievable. Brad gets the drop on him, throws in a couple of rounds. Extrema just comes up, does some funky stuff and takes him out. Politics killing up two kills as well. One up, which is Bear. Can Bear, Bear really needs this one for his team. Comes around, long office. There is one. Last one up is underneath at Statue. Can't read that. Looks Russian. Can't speak Russian. He's coming around all the way at the back on the other side. We do have Shads. If Shads lows and looks out to the right of him, he will see him poke. He is slowly stepping back, and he's going to head back up these B stairs. No, he's not. Needs to go get that bomb, which is sitting all the way around the corner here, over near air conditioner, and Shads still hasn't moved. He's listening out very, very carefully. See if he can hear him at A or B, and he'll pursue that. Carrying his uh, python, because it's going to be a little bit better than his scope bear. Really slowly walking past, doesn't want to give away any sounds into the crouch, get a bit faster there. Shad's so disciplined, still has not moved. And Bear's got no idea where he is. Plant will go down, there's the fake. Shad's does react to it. Still got a nade, oh, <laughs> Bear comes down, runs up, shoots him in the face. Well played there to Bear and Vervius. Did need that one. So that's three rounds gone. So we do need to do another switch. 20 to 19. 20 to 19, ladies and gentlemen. That's nearly 40 rounds gone. And I need to ready up. So Envision need another two, which will push it off to that third map. Impervious need to pull up another three rounds. So they need to win their next three rounds pretty much. Here we go. Let's see if they can do it. Super close this entire game, this whole time. Natura. Let's see if Natura has got the goods going in on attack here. Heavy into this B bomb site. Dub does take down politics with a nice nade at the end. There is someone in there in long office throwing out the shots. Natura takes him down, which is Dub. 3v4 advantage here is with Impervious. And that's probably not the best flash. No smoke. That's what it is, smoke. It all sounds the same to me. It all sounds like a rattling tin can. Stuka gets the plus 10 on Jizz and Divi. 2v2 situation here. Anyone's... Game up for the grab. Natura just having a few shots out there, trying to bait the opposition a little bit. He does see someone top comms room. He's quickly getting out of there. Why it's safe. Oh, outstanding work. Takes up Brad. Last one. He knows where he is. He just seen him. He just had a few shots on him. Very carefully poking around here. Let's try and see. He has moved and he's come around all the way to the front. So if he moves in here. Boom. 
Bomb is going down. Not quite. He does have the opportunity to get one. He is heavily tagged himself. Not too much. No, he's not that heavily tagged. Still got most of his life. He did get one or two shots on him, but it didn't really affect him much. Unless that's a glitch there with the side bar. That didn't go down at all. Stuka Natura up against Bear. So he's got a heavy order here to try and take down. Natura been playing very well for a vision all night. And Stuka has uh, been one of their main scorers all night as well. Bomb is down. He is getting tagged up from the end of communication room. And failed to get it. So that one there goes over to Envision. So they're one round away for uh, pushing this into a third map. That is a big win for Envision that round. It's been like this. Have you been watching it all, Holly? I haven't, unfortunately. I've actually um, I've only just got home. Mate, your excuses don't the, work uh, here. The sounds of that uh, overtime dispute. There we go. Brad does spot someone up. That must be a teammate. No, it's not a teammate, but he did miss him. Standing over there on the balcony. Politics Shads pull up first one, but Shads, unfortunately, did take out his teammate in Stuka. These are the times where you really don't want friendly fire to uh, come into effect. There we go. There's one. Couldn't quite get the second one there. Brad's Politics takes down Brad. Two versus three with uh, the advantage here with uh, Bear and his boys at Impervious. Divi and Bear got eyes on that B bomb site. Nothing's getting in there without them knowing about it. Jeez, all the way around here at Alley. Not much, not much to get in through there. Politics does get taken down. Last one up here is Natura into this B bomb site now. And he does have two players to contend with. Oh, a bit of uh, shooting around the corner there from Divi, but not quite enough to pick up Natura. He just jumped down and he's going to make his way up the staircase, keeping good ears out, seeing what he can hear. So Natura might be popping, you know, he's coming out. Oh, that was very lucky there because Bear's right behind him, actually. Bear's going to come around the corner and shoot him. Oh, he's just moving ahead quick enough. Up around that B bomb site, Bear just needs to stick his head around the corner. There he goes. And there we go, Impervious D. Pull a very, very much needed one back there. 21-20. Can we be seeing triple overtime here? I don't think I've seen a triple overtime on uh, Black Ops yet, Holly. Uh, I was under the impression that uh, Envision did one last season as well, actually. But I uh, could be wrong. I know there was a long one we did last season, which we did actually cast, and I think it was like two maps in a row. It went into overtime, then double overtime, and then the uh, third map on um, yeah, that on that good. map with the house and the radar shit down the bottom. What map's that called? The beach. House and radar shit. You got the beach and the rocky hills and the tanks on the beach. What map's uh, that? Crisis. crisis, yeah. And crisis. I think then they went to Crisis and they won that one from memory. But my memory uh, is pretty fake. There we go. Envision do pull that one off, ladies and gentlemen. So. What was the uh, first map picked? First map was, you're asking me, <laughs> it was uh, Havana. Hav Havana, <laughs> Havana. And that went into Havana, overtime. Yeah. And uh, Impervious just won that one. That was an absolutely rip snorter of a map. Just... Envision actually started off 6-1. They did, 6-1 lead. And then Envision came back and went into overtime and they won. It was 19-17. Uh, um, but we've seen close to 100 rounds of... Um, of uh, Black Ops 1 play tonight. So we should be heading off to a third map, or are we? They've lost a player there on defence in the mighty jungle. So they want jungle. I haven't seen... I think the last jungle we see would have been when Mooney um, went um, six gazillion for none a few months ago. 
against, uh, well, if I say Inc, I can't really be wrong. They've got 200 teams in the uh, in Black Ops, so I can't really go wrong. So here we go. Uh, doing the uh, Vito. Vito, is it Vito? Third one's Vito, is it? Okay, so we've vetoed Summit and Jungle, and we've also obviously taken that Grid and uh, Havana. And I'd like to see, um, I would like to see, what would I like to see? Hanoi. Hanoi would be good. Or Crisis. I think I'd rather Hanoi. Crisis can be a little bit uh, slow, I think. A little bit slow and very... The guys, like I said, they've, they've put on close to 100 it rounds. It's a, it, it is an odd map. It's a very odd map to play. Very play patient. All the others. And to have it as a third map, it'd be, it'd be uh, extremely oh. taxing on these players. I mean, I've... Um, I've been, I'm feeling alright, but I don't have to concentrate as much as these guys, and there's not as much on the line if I do a, if I do a really spastic cast. Well, people should uh, should be expecting that from me by now after nearly 200 casts. But these guys coming into a third map, you want a map where um, it's going to keep you switched on, not drain you. Let me ready up here. So who's picking what? We do have attack with envision, so I don't have to change around my scoreboard, which is great. Yeah, and then obviously last map, last map was a uh, absolute blockbuster, just pretty much going round for round all the way through. One team would pull up two rounds ahead, then the uh, then the other team would get two rounds ahead, and then it went 15-15. Obviously, we had a little problem there at that time, but even then it was close. Um, Envision pulled out and won that one. So map three um, on Hanoi. And thanks to all you guys, I know numbers have dropped a little bit now, getting a little bit late for a lot of people coming up to, well, just after midnight for the uh, for the eastern states here in Adelaide. It's 20 to midnight. But uh, been on a solid 40 uh, viewers most of the time. Yeah, you're exactly right there, uh, G. Best of threes are fantastic when they're close and there's overtime and there's all that good stuff, but you really want the... Uh, same person to win both maps. <laughs> Have you played many best of threes yourself? Uh, obviously, you played last night. Was it last night you played Holy? It was, yeah. Uh, we did manage to win uh, both. Uh, they were very tight, though. It was a very good game, all in all. Yeah, it was interesting. I, I was surprised you boys uh, won. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, bud. Who did you play again? Oh, we played against Impervious Team 2. I, I thought it was. I thought it was, but then I'm playing Impervious tonight. Clearly they've got two teams, but it's just uh, confusing me. Yeah, I thought Impervious would have been a bit stronger. I did, but I got confused with Impervious last night with Impervious CGI compared to, obviously, uh, they, that they team. They do mix quite a bit, especially in a lot of friendlies. It's rare to have everyone come in at once from one team. So this is probably a good map here to uh, to go in for a third map. Crisis would have just been a bad map in my opinion because, yeah, it, it can get slow at times and uh, you really have to stay switched on. And after, like I said, 100 rounds in a couple of hours, players start fatiguing, getting really tired. It makes it very, very hard and you just start. It nearly feels that one team says, you know, stuff it. We're just not going to try. Let's just try and get it over with. So it does degrade the quality of the game. But it's not easy. It's not easy focusing for uh, hours and hours on end. Thought I'd come say, Sarno, you're doing a great job at this marathon. 
of a cast. Oh, good day, Woody. I'm actually feeling good. I started before this. I did. Uh, we did a Black Ops Two match. Did a Black yeah, Ops Two. Yeah, I was watching match. that too. It's been a, been a long night for you. I didn't expect this game to be so close. I, I made my prediction like a lot of people straight up saying oh, I envision two zero, um, and not saying that Impervious wouldn't have put in a good fight. I just didn't see. Um, I just didn't see Impervious um, putting in such a great fight. Yeah, it's been good. Been good. So, just waiting for these uh, teams to ready up. Well, Impervious is a uh, one down at the moment. Just waiting for. Uh... Missing division there. Hey. The missing division. I'm Doctor Robert Crank or something like that. What did I say anyway, Rux? What did I say? Occasionally, occasionally I'll put out a, uh, a fuck or a shit, but our casts aren't full of colourful words. But being, uh, being midnight is definitely past all the little kiddies' bedtime. <laughs> 